So if you haven't heard, we have a hospice volunteer training coming up in July. We are often looking for individuals to join our ever-growing pool of volunteers because we need people with big hearts to come and sit with our patients, hold their hand, and celebrate who they are. I'm a, I'm a hospice volunteer. I've been a hospice volunteer for a little over five years. Um, I didn't think I'd ever be able to do anything like this. Um, my dad was in hospice care for about a day and a half, and I saw the amazing things that the hospice team does, and I wanted to be a part of that. So I became a member first as just a serenity singer. We're a group of singers that sing for folks who are in hospice care. And, and then I took the training that's coming up soon and became a regular hospice volunteer. And I just, I go and visit patients and visit with them and just keep them company, hold their hands. Um, sometimes I sing softly to them just to give them comfort and sometimes to give comfort also to the, the patient's families. And so it's, it's really rewarding. I never know what I'm going to get, and I always kind of say a little prayer before I go in every time and just say, help me to be the person I need to be right now. And for a hospice volunteer, it's just so easy and it's always so rewarding. So think about it. There are opportunities for you to volunteer in many aspects through the VNA and hospice. You could be a Dinners with Love driver, you could be a Serenity singer or a Trillium singer. You could provide vigil support. You could provide companionship and or respite, Reiki, reflexology. There are many opportunities for you to join us. If you're at all interested, please give me a call. And the good part is you only have to do as much as you want. If, if you don't feel comfortable doing something, you don't have to do it. You do what you can. And so if you have a big heart like Patty here, <laughs> you should join us.